Hello everyone, this is Smriti. Welcome to QA Automation classes. So in the last session, we have seen how to create a page class and today we will be seeing how you can create a particular test case. Okay. So how to create the test class and what are the changes we need to our base class. Okay. So let's get started guys. So go to IntelliJ. Okay. So we have already defined our home page class. This is the page class and uh, before creating the test cases, right? So we have to make sure uh, there are some changes in the base steps. Okay. Because as I have already told you, the base step is going to get executed or uh, get inherited in all the test cases okay and uh, the setup and tear down method which these two methods are common for all the test cases right so any test case you want to run you have to in initialize the browser driver and navigate to the url that is for sure you have to do right this is a ui um, automation so right so that is the first thing we need to do so that's why this is reusable across all the test cases and similarly after your uh, execution is completed you have to quit that driver right you have to close that browser instance for that one this tear down method is also going to be used in each and every test cases so because of that we have to make use of these two methods in all the test cases okay so how to do that okay so and this setup and tear down right this needs to be executed the setup should be get executed before the execution of the test cases and tear down should get executed after the execution of the test cases right and uh, so we can do one thing so now we don't need this main method get rid of this main method okay and uh, now let's go to this setup method and here for this setup method what we are going to do we are going to annotate it with at the rate before class because before the execution of the class only we need this to be get executed okay so the before class or dot test ng dot annotations okay it should come from the test ng annotation so before class is done and similarly for tear down we need after class right at the rate after class or test ng annotation okay so if you see those should be get imported over here right or test ng annotations after class or test ng annotations before class so i think we all are clear till this part right so if you guys still have any doubt just put them in the comments i'll get back to you as soon as possible okay so now uh, we started utilizing the test ng annotation before class and after class right similarly for the test case when you design our test class right and in that we'll have we can have the multiple test cases inside a test class or depending upon our design if you want to have one test case per test class that is also fine and each test case inside the test class should be marked with at the rate test annotation so earlier if you have seen while learning the selenium you might have created a lot of public static void main classes like main methods and normal class and with the main method and there you might have written your selenium code right but in real time when you are working with the uh, any framework will not go with the public static void main right why because at a time jvm can only execute one main method it cannot execute multiple main method at a time so when you are working in an automation uh, framework so what happens you have lot of the test cases to be executed let's, let's say there are thousands of the test cases to be executed and uh, if you execute them one by one it will take lot of time so you cannot possibly wait for the five hours or ten hours to get your run results right so in that case we need to distribute it across the through the grid or through the docker we can distribute it and uh, maybe we can go with the parallel run right so that we can quickly get the result quickly get the feedback so that is the main reason because of which instead of going with the public static void main we are using the test ng annotation at the rate test for the test case and those at the rate test multiple test cases can be executed in parallel so there is no restriction in that okay and uh, so let's see what what will be the changes in the like uh, test case we have not yet created right so let's see what are the new things we have to add in the test class so let's create a java class so here we can give it like uh, some name okay let's say tc01 underscore i'll just say this is open login page or something okay open login page okay so and this also depends on your organization uh, related how the uh, how you have defined it right so what is the coding standard you are following right? okay so in most of the organization they will go and follow like this is uh, here tc01 is nothing but the test case number so when you have your manual test cases you can go to your uh, respective tool like alm or wherever you are writing right azure devops so wherever you are writing you go there you get that test case id number and then append this with that test case id number and then give your test case name okay test class name so tc01 open login page so this is a class okay so new class got created so what exactly we need to do in this new class okay so first and foremost is like we have to create the object of the page class which page class it is going to interact with so obviously it is going to interact with the page home page class right so let's say home page 
let's say home page okay so i just defined the reference of home page here okay now it is null we have not assigned anything here okay so now uh, what what exactly i want to do let me go to the application and i'll show you so my intention is so navigate to this page after navigating to this page click on sign up or login it will navigate to login page and then in login page verify what is the page title of this page so if you go inspect html okay so let's say title see automation exercise hyphen sign up slash login so this is the uh, title so let me copy this title so let's do that so let's say expected title equals to I just copied that expected title and just keep it here okay so this is not the ideal way to do i'm just trying to show you right but we will again optimize it will go to the properties file again right so but just now i'm keeping it here so that we can see how particular test case we are just creating the framework of the test case so at the rate test so let's write the actual test method so this is coming from our test engine annotation okay so at the rate test and now we have to define the method right so let's say public void open login page okay public void let's say open login page okay so this is the method and here we have to call that page class related method right so first what we need to do if you go to the home page okay uh, okay so now we are in the home page right so in the home page we have to click on this sign up or login page right so now uh, we have already defined the method for that uh, home page right so now what we need to do here we have to first initialize the home page we need to create the object of the home page here in the uh, test case and then we need to call this method right we already created one method for this one right so let's go there and see so how to create the object so we have already defined the reference variable okay so with the help of the new operator we can do that so let's say home page equals to new home page and what we need to pass here see we need to pass web driver driver over here so why why web driver driver we need to pass because the driver right so the web driver driver whatever from where exactly this web driver is coming this web driver will come from your base class right so we have not yet uh, extended right so we need to say this test class is extending the base steps right so extends base steps right okay so now we are extending the base steps okay so home page equals to new home page and we have to pass the driver okay so driver because this driver is now available because we are extending right and if you go to the base step if you see where is the driver instance we have created so public static web driver driver so this is public it can be accessed throughout the uh, framework and this is static static means it is only going to create it only once and it can be reused now right so now same static uh, web driver we are going to pass it from the test case okay since it is extending the base step that is also available okay so see the base step is imported over here right cool so now uh, we created the successfully created the object of the home page class and through this object we need to call the corresponding uh, method click method right so let's say home page right dot okay click sign up or login okay so now it will go to this method and here it is going to uh, give you that uh, it, it is going to do that click right click of sign on or login button sign up login button dot click okay so now uh, if you see uh, right uh, this click will be done here okay so after that what we need to do so we uh, also got a hold of this expected title right so when you navigate to a particular web page so you should always do some assertions right so whether you are in the correct web page or not how would you verify it? because we have to put some assertions over there right so how to do that okay so now now uh, here let me as time being i'm just writing again we'll be uh, putting this piece of the logic to the page class okay so this is not the right way to do but just now i just want to show you how the test case you are designing and then again we will go and optimize this code right so if i'm saying driver dot get title right driver dot get title okay dot equals ignore case to expected title right if both are equal right i'm saying whatever the title we are getting from the page is equal to ignore case expected title that can be case sensitive okay if it is equal then you can say title is verified right so you can say s out page title 
is matching or something right you can say like this okay page title is matching okay double quotes okay page title is matching and uh, then uh, if it is if it is matching then you will say you will pass right just do the asset dot asset true okay sorry asset my god okay a s c r t dot okay asset true asset true we can use asset equals there only but i just want to show you the asset true okay asset true boolean condition i can say true okay okay or if if this is assertion is failing right if it is not equal to ignore case right so in that case what we are going to say we'll say else asset dot asset true false okay so false okay this is what i'm going to say so let's run this one and let's see if it is working fine or not okay so tc001 right so let's run this one only okay we'll be again updating these things okay this is not the actual ideal way to write the code inside here right this is just the test case so this verification and everything it should be part of the respective page class okay allow access okay still running read the browser from the dot properties file is chrome so again in the setup page not instantiated the browser okay so it took some time but now it instantiated the browser went to automation exercise went to uh, clicked on that uh, page a uh, link right sign up or login page and then after that signing that up it verified this thing right and verified this thing and assertion also passed right page title this is our sop statement and it said asset dot asset true true or asset dot asset true false okay so instead of doing this asset true asset true here both the cases we can do one thing okay so instead of uh, if condition we can directly put that asset dot asset equals okay asset equals we can have this driver dot get title right this is uh, get title dot equal ignores case expected title if it is equal then well and good if it is not equal then you can say uh, you can give your statement third statement right asset dot asset uh, equal okay so that also you can do but this piece of the code definitely is not ideal to keep it here right we need to move it okay let's try that one first so asset dot capital okay. asset uh equals asset equals uh with a message what is that asset equals with a message int actual int expected string message instead of int it will go with the string string okay so let's say uh asset equals so i'll say uh, driver dot get title dot equals to ignore case expected title let me copy this okay so this is driver dot get title from a uh, expected title okay expected title so these are the two things first is the this is what you get from the driver uh, get title and this is your expected title if both are equal then nothing if both are not equal then give a message okay you can give a message like this uh, page title each mismatching okay so let's do one thing this if else will get put them as in the comment so now i can go ahead and again execute this one run okay okay instance it now okay maximize it will maximize okay now clicked on this one go into that page and then it closed okay so if you see total test run one passes one failure zero skip zero that means what so that means this is working fine so we will do one thing we'll try to update this uh, expected title okay automation okay let's say we'll update like this okay so this should fail now okay now let's run 
and I should see this message that is my expectation okay so now if you see the test case failed why test case failed and it is showing here also right asset equals is failing so url from properties file okay this is coming from your uh, uh, base step right and after that java.lang.association error page title is mismatching expected automation exercises sign up slash login but actually is automation exercise sign up slash login so this extra eyes are over here because of which it is failing so we'll just update this to original value so that it will pass let's quickly run it and see if it is passing or not and uh, we will be again moving this piece of the code to the page class okay so in the next session we'll see that okay okay cool so now it is passing okay so one test case executed and one is passed so this is how you will create a test case the test case will in turn uh, it has to extend the base steps because we are going to use the driver instance which is defined in the base class as well as we are going to use the uh, two methods right there are two uh, methods we have defined in the base step those are like one is the setup method another one is the tear down method and this setup method should get executed before the init initiation of the uh, each test case so it you have to annotate it with that before class and similarly the tear down should get executed after completion of the each test case so you have to annotate it with that after class okay so that's all to this session in the next session we'll see we'll optimize it a little bit okay and uh, then again we have to make some changes to the page classes and all and uh, whatever the changes needed in the test case we'll do that and then again we'll try to run it okay so if you guys are really enjoying the session i'll request you to uh, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and uh, colleagues and uh, if you have any doubts please feel free to uh, ask them in the comment section and if you now want to join i have already given my uh, telegram channel link and the whatsapp link uh, whatsapp channel link also in the description please go there and join them as well and there also you can uh, start asking the question if you need anything uh, extra please let me know in the comments okay so we'll see in the uh, we'll meet in the next session okay thank you everyone bye bye